we have a newfound respect between Styles and Paris. When they left Wildside, they were in fact opponents. They were warring opponents. Since joining WCW, they have become a tag team on their own. But he'll put a lot of differences aside. But there's still a level of competition between the two that will never, ever subside. Stephen Prezak, let me explain something to you. In case you don't know it, idiots out there at ringside, this is Steve Martin, Mr. Wildside, the owner of Wildside Wrestling. AJ Styles, I brought this guy into the business. He walked in this very arena, had never been in a wrestling arena before in his life. In less than two years, he got a contract with WCW. Air Paris, on the other hand, he's been spoon-fed since the day he got in the business by Burt Prentice. It's going to be one hell of a match, but I don't know if AJ's going to be the same without Jeff G. Bailey in his corner. Well, that's right. Then again, maybe a baby to air uh, AJ Styles' benefit. I believe that Jeff Bailey is pretty much a canker sore on the butt of professional wrestling anyway, and I think Styles doesn't need that kind of crap. He and Air, and air Paris are doing just fine on their own. Thank you very much. Let me say this, I'm not out here to toot my own horn. I'm out here to call one of the greatest matches in NCW Arena history. And I will say this, one of the greatest matches in wrestling history. These two guys can go better than anybody else I've ever met in pro wrestling. AJ Styles and Air Paris, I hate this drink of water, Air Paris, but I can tell you this, he can flat go inside the square circle. Two out of three falls, we're going to find out who the better man is right here on Wildside. I have completely stumped. I mean, if I were to pick favorites, and I love both these guys, I think both guys are remarkable. And I frankly think that AJ Styles is in fact the future of this business professional wrestling and Air Paris is almost like off the charts when it comes to describing what he can do in the ring. I'm left almost numb by the talents of both these competitors, perhaps the finest two athletes ever coming out of NWA Wildside. And good Lord, they're the main event here. Two out of three falls here this week on NWA Wildside. Stephen Prezak, I've been preaching this for two years. AJ Styles is the greatest athlete that ever walked through this arena, bar none. AJ Styles is the man. I don't care if Jeff G. Bailey's in his corner or not. AJ Styles, I think, has forgot where he's come from, but tonight, we're going to see who the better man is between AJ Styles and Air Paris. I got my money on one. I'm not going to say who. Gee, I wonder who that could be. AJ he Styles. asked him knowingly. Oh, thank you very much. I, I kind of got a handle on that earlier on. But right now we're talking about two competitors. Oh, they just, they're just so familiar with each other's repertoire. You know, the fact that they are a tag team in WCW. And so there's a level of cooperation there that they didn't have when they last left Wildside because they were, in fact, warring combatants at the time. Well, let me explain this right here. Andrew Thomas is in here with a broke arm due to the BLC. No, and Scotty Wren just broke the leg of Jesse Taylor. You've seen that before the commercial break. That's let true. me tell you something. Scotty Wren is going to have to be put out of this business once and for all. And by God, I'm going to be the man to do it. Uh, you've been uh, preaching that for a long time right now. And how not be able to pull that one off? Because you can't take Scotty Wren out. It's impossible. Oh, perfect drop kick right in the mush of Paris. That Styles boy, what a gifted guy. And he's, and you know, as, as amazing as he is, he's actually improving. That's damn scary. And he's still young, too. This kid right here is going to be the athlete of the year 2001. I've predicted it for two years now, and I'm telling you right now, AJ Styles is the man as far as I'm concerned. Oh, my God. St Styles landed almost on his head. Boy, the, what, what, incredible offense from both combatants here. Better at what price here? This is a two out of three falls match. Knowing these guys, I, know, I feel pretty sure they're going to go three falls because that's just pretty much the way these guys operate. That's the M.O. of both Air Paris and A.J. Styles. And let me say this too, Stephen. All these idiots at ringside are still in a little shock due to Jesse Taylor's broken leg. But I'm going to tell you right now, A.J. Styles and Air Paris is fixing to light it up here. Good Lord! To the floor. Oh, Styles flying over the top. His legs caught the top rope. Still made some damage to Paris. Oh, Styles and Paris are both down. Referee Andrew Thomas checking on both men. Looks like there's still some life left in him. Unbelievable offense, airborne offense from Styles. They call it a high-risk maneuver for a reason. It affects both the man doing it as well as the man receiving it. That's the bottom line, Stephen. For once in my life, I'm going to agree with you. As the high-risk move that AJ Styles just did cost him as he splatted on the floor. But I'm going to tell you something. Everybody's timing's off a little bit here tonight. You to Jesse Taylor. And I tell you, Scotty Wren's going to have to be put out. And I mean put out for good. Big talk from Steve Martin about the, the back that one up. Uh, best of luck, pal. I don't think he'll be able to pull one off. Hey, you remember one thing, Stephen plays that. I got plenty more when he comes down. Now that was nice. Unbelievable. And there you go. The first fall, the first fall goes to AJ Styles. The winner of the first fall, AJ Styles.
unbelievable maneuvering it took to get it took it out, but yes, it did in fact. AJ Styles, fall one belongs to Mr. Styles. Fall two is coming up though, right after this. All right, Wildside fans, welcome back to NWA Wildside. We are in the midst of a two out of three falls match between AJ Styles and Air Paris. Well, a match that is raising the bar of professional wrestling literally worldwide. The first fall goes to AJ Styles. There's a lot of respect shown by both these combatants, but I believe now that the bell has rung for fall number two, the respect and the likability goes right out the door. AJ Styles throws one of the best wide punches in the business. He will cold cock you in the head in two seconds flat, and there's Air Paris feeling the effects of that. I find AJ Styles does everything better than anything else in the business. It's incredible. Air Paris with a quick roll up. Not enough for Styles. Oh no. Literally twisting AJ Styles in the air. Styles lands on his face. Paris looking for some crowd support. I think I would zoom in on his opponent. The hell with the crowd right now. They'll always be behind you, Paris, but stick to your opponent, pal. Saving these guys invent moves every time they get in the ring. And there goes AJ to the floor. Oh, and I mean, caught the ring barricade on the way down. Oh, Styles flying over the top like a, kind of like a Russian space station. Air Paris in the ring right now. Styles coming to his feet pretty quick. The recuperative powers of Paris never fails to amaze me. For God's sake, Stephen, call the match. I mean, are you going to sit here and just moan and whine? Or are you going to call the match? Or am I going to have to get that? Greenhorn, Dan the Dragon up here to take your place. I'm kissing the ass of AJ Styles. What are you worried about for crying out loud? You ought to be kissing my ass. I'm the one who writes the paychecks around here. That's Mr. Wildside, Steve Martin. Well, there's a lot of ass to kiss around here. Hey, politics is everything in this business. So you I'm better told. get with the program, son, or you're going to be where our guess is fired. I'll write that down. Thanks much. Oh, oh. Paris attempt a... A Huda Conrada on Styles and managed to get it though, but he landed right on the lower part of his back. I tell you, these high risk maneuvers are taking their toll, and this is only fall number two. Paris slowly getting to his feet. Styles My God. much slower. Did you see AJ bounce off that floor like a basketball? And we're talking about no pads here at the NCW Arena. Never has been any blue pads on the, on the ground here. Here at the NCW Arena. Whoa! Oh, Styles' face first, smack dab in the middle of the mat. I don't know if this is enough taking out of Styles in order for a pin here. Oh, Paris yeah. is threatening that high knee low. Oh, some sweet chin music, perhaps? It looks that way. Paris got to set him up for that big super kick, and he oh. ducks it, turns around. Styles knew that was coming. Side headlock. Perhaps a DVD? It is! Oh, it's a DVD! Sideways! On top of Styles' head. It's one fall apiece. Welcome back. We're here with fall number three. A match that has raised the bar for professional wrestling literally everywhere. Air Paris and AJ Styles, two people who are warring here for a long time here at NWA Wildside. For God's have sake, don't you see who walked the ringside? Jeff G. Bailey's out here. That's why the match is not starting. Bailey should not be involved in this match whatsoever. We're talking about AJ Styles. Talk about Air Paris. Styles doesn't seem to be too affected by Jeff G. Bailey to ringside. It looks like uh, the, uh, the connection is still has been maintained. Well, hell, he better not. Jeff G. Bailey helped make the career of AJ Styles. I mean, I'm the star maker, but Jeff G. Bailey, the attorney, my personal attorney, he takes care of business just like that. And that's why Paz can't even stand up. He's, I think he's drunk or something. He is not drunk. For, he's too young to drink for crying out loud. Too many pills. Hey, I thought that AJ Styles made AJ Styles, not you. Let me explain something to you, Steven. Uh -huh. I don't care what anybody says. The promoter, the star maker, the one, the only, Steve Martin, Mr. Wildside, is responsible for AJ Styles' career. He's one hell of an athlete, but I'm going to tell you something. Without the push position I put him in, he'd be just like the other ones at the bottom of the card. Oh, uh, let's not argue at this point anymore now. Fists are flying now. Looks like tempers are really flaring here between Styles and Paris. Their mutual respect has now turned into intense dislike for fall number three. Jeff G. Bailey cheering on Styles. There ain't nothing like violence to sell tickets. Every wrestling promoter's dream, violence right here at the NCW Arena as AJ Styles and Air Paris are going to literally beat the hell out of each other. Thank and you. I'm just getting excited, Steven. Thank you, P.T. Barnum Jr. Wow, Styles now opening up on Paris. Reversal. Oh, Styles up in the ring barrier. Head first into the concession stand. Oh, for Pete's sake. 
the Isles is knocked over the big bucket of ice. Trash can on top of Styles from Paris. These two guys don't give a damn about each other, and they sure as hell don't give a damn about their own body. These guys right here will do anything it takes to score a pinfall, and Jeff G. Bailey just got a sucker punch. And let me explain something right here. Jeff G. Bailey and I are a little disagreement about AJ. AJ punched Jeff G. Bailey, a little personal thing there, but I'm telling you, AJ's the greatest athlete ever, and he's getting his ass whipped by this drink of water. <laughs> so it well seems, well, the return of the concession stand brawl here, and Wildside, oh no, got Air Paris head first here into the announcing booth. The, the security rail topples over, the referee topples over, the front row is toppling over. We got all hell breaking loose here at the arena as Paris is dumped on his back. And here comes AJ Styles, and he's right in front of us, and God only knows what this guy is going to do. Oh, Styles has a chair. Styles has a chair. And he's ready to open up on Paris. Cave his skull in, AJ. Cave his skull in. I want to see blood. Oh, what no. The hell? Styles threw the chair away. He's not going to defeat his buddy Paris with a chair. It's going to be a real wrestling match, and it's going to be good. Hell, it already is. Look at Bailey. Look at Bailey for crying out loud. AJ Styles does not want Jeff Bailey's help. For crying out loud, AJ Styles, the future professional wrestling, needs Jeff Bailey's like a tanker store. Whoa, oh, whoa, I thought that was it right there. Good Lord, 2.95. Styles gets a shoulder up just in the nick of time. Stephen, why in the hell would AJ not want a genius like Jeff G. Bailey in your corner? He has made more careers in pro wrestling than anybody. And I'm telling you right now, AJ walking on his own is not going to make it. He can't even beat this drink of water air pass. Hey, talk about making careers. AJ Styles already has his career. He's already carved some serious roads in the world of professional wrestling, and he's showing more and more every week without the effects, without the help of Jeff Bailey. Thank you very much. Who asked you anyway, Stephen? Oh, uh, you did, actually. Damn opinion don't mean nothing to me, Stephen. Thank you. You're just an employee. You're nothing to me. You're an announcer with a job, and I'm going to fire your ass if you keep it up. Uh, just smart talk. Just back talk me one more time. Oh, uh, don't go right on that. But now it's Air Paris. Now, well, baseball slide attempt at by Styles, Paris gets out of the way. Now Paris tells the front three rows to get out of the way. Oh dear, here comes Paris. No, no, but that's Styles. The security railing, and I use the word security real loosely, has just been completely decimated. For God's sake, somebody stop these two before we don't have a damn arena for hardcore hell. Hardcore hell, we're gonna tear this damn building apart if there's a building left to tear apart. Well, there certainly is no security reeling left here anymore. Well, I got AJ Styles, boy, he's in the, he's actually gone through rows one through four here at the NCW Arena. Now Paris dragging Styles back into the ring. Good Lord. And let me say this too, Steven, and this right here is just gonna prove my point. This is the real deal. This ain't no giveaway ring barricade. That's two by fours and nails, and they went through it like a piece of paper. These two guys right here are athletes, and they can get the job done. But I don't think AJ Styles can do it without Jeff and I. AJ Styles can do whatever he wants without Jeff and you. Yes, you were part of the equation back then. AJ Styles is doing just fine without you. You should be proud of what you had accomplished with Styles and not worry about what he's doing now. He and Paris, oh, a double attempt and a flying cross body. Both guys know each other so well, they're doing the same moves at the same time. Unbelievable. Steven, you remember one thing, and you remember it well. You never outsmart Mr. Wildside. I've always got an ace in my pocket, and by God, tonight, I got another ace in my pocket, and I'm going to show you why I am the star maker, the owner of Wildside, Mr. Wildside, Steve Martin. You've got another, look, look, I, I hear the threat of another ace in your pocket. I don't like hearing that sort of stuff. Whenever you say that sort of crap, a lot of crap happens here in the rings of Wildside, and this match doesn't need it. This is a damn picture perfect match. We don't need any aces up your sleeve, shall we say? Oh, whoa. All I can say is this. I'm a winner. I was born a winner, and I'm going to die a winner. I refuse to be second, and that's why Wildside is going to be number two in America in just a short while. I think we're there right now, pal. Yes, it's doing a lot of hard work from you, Steve. 
But I tell you, it take, takes talent like Eric Paris and AJ Styles to put Wild Side on the map. And boy, we're literally all over the map. And oh, out the, out the map of the head of, oh, good Lord. AJ Styles dropped Paris right on the chair that Bailey threw into the ring, unbeknownst to Styles. But Paris, oh Lord, puts her foot on the bottom rope just in the nick of time. I didn't think Paris realized he was even that close to the rope. Shows you what an athlete Paris is. But I don't believe Styles is particularly happy with the fact that Bailey is inserting himself in this match, not to the approval of AJ Styles. Let me explain something to you, Steven. And I'm going to tell you this right now. Look at that! He threw the chair at Bailey. Styles threw the chair at Bailey. He doesn't want Bailey's help. I don't understand this at all. I don't understand why AJ Styles would not want Jeff G. Bailey in this corner, for God's sake. It's a singles match. Here are the, here are the opponents. You got AJ Styles, you got Air Paris, neither of which is Jeff Bailey, neither of which is Steve Martin. What don't you understand? Let me explain something to you, Stephen. I have never, ever said one time that these athletes are not what puts people on their feet. Every person in here is on their feet. It's just I am the straw that stirs the drink. I'm the one that makes it possible. I'm the one that gives them a playground to play on. And I'm telling you right now, I got an ace in my pocket. AJ Styles better get with the program well, tonight. If, if you're stirring the drink, why don't you, why don't we get a signed match between Steve Martin and Air Paris? I'd like to see that. There's oh, the fly. squirrel. Whoa. Oh, hey, Steven, they'll steal that next. A, fly, a flying press off the top rope. The flying squirrel. No, I'm not going to call it the flying squirrel. What a ridiculous name it is for that move. AJ Steals. I mean, Styles. Oh. AJ, the inventor of moves, I'm telling you. This guy right here can fly like a bird. That shooting star press, or the shooting Styles press, has left many WCW superstars very intensely jealous. We've heard some horror stories. Oh, Bailey has now clocked Styles. Paris clocks Bailey. What the hell? Paris needs to mind his own business. He was out of the NWA Elite's business. He was doing just fine without the uh, Jeff Bailey at ringside. Styles Paris on the top rope. Oh, good lord. Good God Almighty. Styles hits face first in the top rope. Paris lands crutch first in the top rope. Here comes Chris Justice. It's Justice. Bailey's waving in Justice. And Bailey's Onyx. waving. Let's don't forget Onyx, Steven. Let Did me, you think we was going to let Air Paris escape let the me, beating of a lifetime? And now AJ Styles has crossed us, and he's going to have to pay too. I'm telling you right now, the NWA Elite is going to take over this place once and for all. So this is your ace up your sleeve, huh, Steve? Oh, it's just getting started. You it's couldn't, you couldn't let started. this match finish on its own momentum, huh? No. Oh, no! Two little Tennessees! Two little Tennessees have gotten in the ring! John Phoenix and Adam Jacobs in here. Presumably to save their uh, one time Suzanne little Tennessee partner, Air Paris, and also checking on Air AJ Styles as well. Apparently this the third fall, a double disqualification. It ain't, it ain't over by a long shot, I can tell you that. What a minute, it's not over. Yes, it is. It turns out to be a double disqualification. Oh no, Suzanne little Tennessee's Phoenix and Adam Jacobs in to save the day. For Styles and Eric Paris. No, I sure would have liked to see a winner, a winner in that third fall. But apparently you and that damn NWA elite decided against it. Well, it seems to me if Paris and AJ could have got the job done on their own, they'd have done it way before Jeff ever showed up. 